Imbibed in languages are the custom, tradition, and passion of a certain culture. It is through language that a way of life is passed down from generation to generation. The identity and the soul of a certain group of people resides in the vocalization of our native languages, connecting us from one another and our past. How many of us recognize this great role that native languages have to play? The term native language refers to the language that a person acquires in its early childhood because it is spoken in the family, and it is the language of the region where the child lives, also known as mother tongue, first language, or arterial language. In this world today, almost half of the 6,900 languages spoken around the world are endangered. Scarily, the rate of extinction is accelerating, and there is a whole lot at stake. And what is the status of our native language? Are they going to live forever with us? Or are they actually dying in front of us? Our native languages will die if we don't pay attention to them. With the advent of globalization, it has become imperative for us to explore foreign languages. But that should not push us to alienate our native languages. Language are not only a medium of communication, but powerful tools of preserving our culture and heritage. If a language dies, a part of our culture also dies with it. There are some key reasons why native language matters. When a language dies, we lose the country's playbook for how to thrive in the world. Everything from local plant knowledge to unique ontologies and well-being. It will be an enormous loss of accumulated knowledge. It will hurt the environment around us. Research has shown that language loss has a negative impact on biodiversity. In the study first published in the journal Economic Botany, a loss of native Yanisha speakers in the Kyrgyzstan Amazon was shown to have directly impacted the diversity of crops. It's not just that, as communities lose their language, they often also lose parts of their cultural traditions which are tied to that language, such as songs, myths, and poetry that are not easily transferred to another language. This will in turn affect their sense of identity, producing a weakened social cohesion as their traditions and values are replaced by new ones. If we keep on ignoring the importance of preserving our native languages, no sooner our beautiful native languages that live with us today will live us forever. Let us not be the last speaker of our native languages, but let us pass on the languages that we speak to our children for a better tomorrow. Let's start documenting our native languages. Let's revive the dying languages and let us feel proud to speak our languages because if not us, who will? Every effort must be made to protect, promote and preserve and put our native languages into practice. We can do so by, among other things, by number one, banking our languages, number two, raising concern over the consciousness level of our language, number three, provide training and certification, number four, by developing comprehensive and appropriate curriculum and textbooks to be used in schools and colleges. Number five, engaging in meaningful language research. The importance of language as an expression of culture, of who we are as people, must be upheld by each individual, each family, each community, and each nation. We conclude the message with this famous quote by Noam Chomsky. He says, a language is not just words, it's a culture, a unification of a community, a whole history that creates what a community is. It's all embodied in language. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm 
Iya, atau ayam ini. Nggak usah. Nggak usah. Oh, ini dia. Ini ya. Ini saya sakit ini. 